What's cracking YouTubians? It's uh, it's Elliot here from Neanderthal Fitness, www.neanderthalfit.com. Personal trainer, fitness instructor, avid fitness YouTuber. Um, so that last thing I say it changes every time. So sorry about that. So today, my first in my series of videos that will be coming out on a certain date or a certain day every week. So uh, said. Wednesdays and Sundays, so as it is, da, 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 Wednesday, today that I'm recording this, um, I will upload this today, and then, yeah it is Wednesday, yeah it is, it is Wednesday, so I'll upload this today, um, and then I'll do another one for Sunday. So, <coughs> today's video is simply going to be about what I call spontaneous fitness, um, basic movement, recapturing all the things that our ancestors could do that you no longer can do. Um, so let's uh, let's talk about that for a minute. So what do I mean by spontaneous fitness? I don't know if that's really the way to put it but essentially what I mean is not sticking to just a uniform workout. So not saying that once a week, twice a week, three times a week, four, five, six times a week, however many times you work out in the gym or at home or in the park, you know, wherever you get your workout in, whether it's body weight, weights, sport, whatever. So aside from that, so we're taking that out of the equation. So that's what most people consider when they think about getting fit is just, I'm going to take, I'm, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to go to the gym every day um, and, well not every day, I'm going to go to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm going to lift up these weights, put them back down, I'm going to do the same thing day in, day out, force my body to change through progressive overload, um, and you know, all the other basic principles of exercise. Fine, that's good, that's great. If you do that, grand. But this bit of advice goes to anyone who perhaps doesn't do that, and also to everyone who does. So, spontaneous fitness means not just sticking to those things, but getting fit all the time. So what I'm going to talk to you about, um, and I'm going to find their blog and, and put a link to it down below, um, is these guys, or a guy, I, I think it's a group of people called Ido Portal. Ido Portal. Um, now, they're quite big on the fitness blog scene, I would say. Um, a while ago, I followed their 30-day squat challenge which was to get into a deep squat, as in a rest position, not actually doing squats, just get into the squat and hold it for a maximum of 30 minutes throughout the day. So when I started it would be one, maybe two minute holds, um, you know, spread out throughout the day over and over again. You'd repeat that to reach a total of 30 minutes. And over time, as the time went on, uh, the amount of time I could keep that stance comfortably without getting cramp and pins and needles and stuff in my legs increased a lot to the point where I think I was doing like 10 minutes, I think I even did like 12 minutes once in one hold and it, it was comfortable. That is a human's natural rest position, not seated. So when you sit on a chair, hip flexors get tight, um, you know, the transverse abdominus gets lazy and relaxed, um, you know, it, it's what leads to a lot of postural issues for people. So adopting the squat, one, it stops you sitting down because sometimes I'd be stood up or I'd be sat down watching TV and i think, oh, i just squat for five minutes, watch a bit of TV. You know, it stretches out your body, it gets you doing something your body's naturally supposed to do. Um, currently, they are running a new challenge, a 30-day hanging challenge. So, for a maximum, well not for a maximum, you could do more if you want to, but they want you to hang for an accumulative seven minutes a day. So, just a dead hang, either from a pull-up bar, from... Uh, you know, the frame of a swing set, whatever. People have found some inventive things to hang off. I tend to use my pull-up bar or go out into the park and, and use that sometimes, um, something to hang on there. And so I'm following that. I think I'm on day five. Um, when I started, I was doing hangs for, I was doing it in 30 second increments and that was pretty hard. Um, hard wearing on my hands. Um, yesterday, day four, um, five, five of them, no six of them, I did as one minute holds, but then my last two minutes I had to do quite close together, so my last two I did as 30, and then I think I did 20 and then 10, because I wasn't having big rests between, and so my grip 
was dying, my forearms were screaming at me. Um, but for the most part, you know, my grip has improved that I can hold that dead hang position uh, for a minute. Hopefully today, I haven't started yet today, but today, you know, I I'm going to just go for a minute again. But over the next couple of days, maybe get up to 1 minute 20, 1 minute 30, you know, and you see that improvement. And so this is kind of what I mean by spontaneous fitness, is taking any opportunity, any opportunity that you see throughout the day to take a natural movement pattern or something more active than you would normally do and do it. So I think, you know, adding one thing at a time like a 30 day challenge is good because it turns it into um, something that you just do. And although I don't squat every day, as I did in the 30 day challenge now, I do squat more often. So if I'm eating a bowl of cereal, I'll just drop into the squat. If I'm resting when I'm talking to a client and they're doing like sit ups or something, so I want to be on their level, I'll go into a squat round and then sit on the floor. Um, it's just little things like that. You reclaim that stance and the ability to use it, but also it keeps you more active. The more active you are throughout the day, the more calories you burn, i.e. the less fat you have on you, the more toned your muscles are. Um, you know, it gives you more energy. It's, it's a way that if you don't want to just go to the gym and work out for an hour or 40 minutes or whatever and just do that, you know, it's other things that make you healthy. And you can just do two minutes here three minutes there, whatever, just spread it out throughout your day. So it's much like when people say to do desk stretches when you're sat at work, so you're sat sedentary for eight hours in front of a computer, so every 15-20 minutes you do your chest stretch, you do some leg stretches which you can't see because <laughs> the camera's too close, um, but you know you do your stretches to get you active, get you moving, um, and so that's that's great. That's, you know, anything like that where you just take a little bit of activity throughout the day, it's going to make a big change. And quite frankly, um, I think that even if you do, say you work out for three hours a week, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you work out for an hour, but then the rest of your life you spend sat down on your ass, yes, those three hours make you more healthy than if you were just sat on your ass all the time, but realistically, three hours is not going to offset like however many hours there are in a week, a lot of hours in a week that you're just sat around doing fuck all. So if you can take five minutes, you know, every now and then when you're sat down, jump up, get into a squat, go hang on a bar, um, you know, do, uh, even do a couple of exercises, like just hop off the sofa, do five push-ups, do ten push-ups, do three, you know, whatever you can do, do some sit-ups, do a couple of bodyweight squats, it's anything to just kind of keep the joints lubricated, keep the muscles moving. So as a natural, as a hunter-gatherer human, you were not sat down all day. The majority of your day you were probably walking around. If you weren't walking, you would be squatting to prepare food because we didn't have seats, so how else would you rest? You squat. Um, or take you know a, a cross-legged seated position, something like... Um, uh, probably just going to sneeze there. You take a cross-legged seated position, something like people would do in yoga, um, you know, that just, it, it keeps you, keeps the joints supple. And on top of that, you would then be sprinting to chase down a beast and then wrestling with the beast and cooking it and killing it and eating it. Uh, probably kill it, cook it and eat it because otherwise that's a bit sadistic. <laughs> cook it to kill it, like a lobster, maybe. Who knows? But anyway, my point is, you would be active all day. So, every five to ten minutes, bam, your body gets a signal to be active and it jumps to it and it doesn't need to warm up and it's just ready to go. And we don't have that anymore. We spend so long sat down that if we don't do our five, ten minute warm up before we work out, then, you know, we'll probably kill ourselves, you know. We'll s go to Snap City, Fabled Snap City in the sky, you know, we'll fuck ourselves up. So don't be that guy who works out hard for an hour and then negates all of those gains in fitness and health by just sitting on your ass for the rest of your life. Get up, do something. So I encourage you to read some of the blogs by Ido Portal. They are very good. I say the link will be down below in the description box. Um, you know, give the hanging challenge a try. Even jump back and give the squat challenge a try. Not as many people are doing it now, so it's not as active a group on Facebook as it was when it first happened. Um, and as a result, obviously, you don't get the same encouragement of seeing all these people on your newsfeed doing the squat or whatever. But do it for yourself. You don't need other people to do something for yourself. So do something. A little bit of something every now and then. So when you're sat down watching TV, say you're watching a film. 
It's two and a half hours long. Not in the cinema. Don't do this in the cinema because everyone will think you're a dick. But if you're at home watching a film, you sat on the sofa, all right, half an hour in, bam, 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 ten push-ups. Or say you're watching a film that's on TV. Every time there's some adverts on, jump up and do some exercises. You know, do some high knees, do some squats, whatever. Do some exercise while the adverts are on, sit down again when the program's back on. So you still get your rest, you still get to sit down and enjoy doing the things you do, but you're going to keep your body active and supple, it's not going to get stale and fall apart when you reach 50 and you'll have to retire young and you won't be able to go on holiday with all the young 20 year old women, um, you know, don't you want to do that stuff? Yeah, you do. So, fucking stay active, yeah? You know, stay healthy. Um, Stay active, stay healthy, take my advice, don't be an old fart who has like no muscle density in their legs, just be happy, healthy, wise, live a long time, have a good life, be able to jump when you're 60, not just barely be able to stand if you push yourself out with your hands, off your seat with your hands. Alright, so that's the video, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and comment below with anything you want to see. Peace out.